Oh, okay, good. <laughs> it works. Okay, wow. Uh, I just had a lot of internet issues. Uh, basically, I've been working on an alert box. So, like, it does that now. Whenever, like, people follow and stuff. And I don't know why, but I think Streamlabs just bugged out and literally erased all of my settings. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I think I think it just completely bugged out and just erased all of my settings for like no reason and I have no idea why. So uh yeah, very very interesting things going on. But anyways, uh welcome. Uh my name is Garrett, aka Slamfest, and uh welcome to nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. There seems to be a grammatical error unless uh nine persons is uh, a phrase but this is uh this is zero escape which is a another it's another visual escape series by uh or visual novel series what am i saying it's by spike chun soft down here which is uh the same people who make danganronpa which i remember i streamed that back in the fall and it was it was a ton of fun it was like i, I remember a lot of people really enjoyed it so i am now going into zero escape which was also recommended to me by uh, Fur Inusu, the same person who recommended Danganronpa. I don't know anything about this game. <laughs> All I know is that there's escape rooms, and I think there's like a, like I think there's like a, uh, like a decision thing that happens where like you have to make like choices and and crap. And uh, I think how things work is like. I don't know. I was told that what you need to do is, like, this game is about, like, jumping between timelines. Like, you get clues from one timeline for another timeline. I'm like, what the heck does that even mean? I guess I'm about to find out, though, right? So, um... Yeah, I guess, without further ado... That was loud. Ow. Okay, uh... Was that... Was that, was that loud? Okay, that seems to be fine. So it just seems to be like a little quieter than uh my microphone. Oh. oh no, I'm just looking at the stream labs. Yeah, it sounds fine. Okay. Uh just somebody tell me if it doesn't sound good or if it like or like if I'm like way too loud or if the game audio is way too loud. Anyways, yes, I'm pretty sure I want to save here. Hmm, okay, interesting. Oh, without further ado, <laughs> this game is fiction. Well, uh, it's all fiction. Am I right? Oh my god, what is this? Nine, eight, seven. Yes, yeah, so it appears to be that we're on a boat. Freaking man and banana up in uh up in this bitch like, okay wait are we actually just gonna be on a boat? Is that where this game takes place? Cause that's kind of cool. One. Zero. Whoa. Oh boat crashed. Okay that's bad. A loud noise startled Junpei awake and his eyes snapped open. What? What the? As they adjusted to the light, he realized that he didn't recognize his surroundings. What the hell? With a crack, Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. Whoa! His balance lost and his still fuzzy mind struggled to understand what was going on. Junpei tumbled down to the cold gray floor. Ouch! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I guess this is who I'm playing as. <laughs> so wait, is this like, I guess actually this is a visual novel, so. A bed? I don't know why, I guess I imagine to be like looking around a space, but maybe that's because I'm too used to dang and rumpa. Like, I've never played any other visual novels. Like, how am I supposed to know what they're supposed to look like? Uh, that felt pretty far. Yeah, I was on the top bunk. God damn. Uh, that really hurt. No kidding. Sight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. Oh, 
Wait, that's not it. No, the ship's shaking. An earthquake. But it, it's shaking too fast for that. What the hell is happening? Uh, anyway. Where? Allow me to just adjust the mic real quick. Am I? Anyways, where am I? I'm probably in the escape room, right? Oh, okay. No more Wait, earthquake. It stopped? Yeah, it did. What's that sound? Is that somebody in the room right next to me? Hello? Oh. That's... Five. What's this five mean? Well, I'm about to find out. Ah, it won't open. Oh, shit. Is there zero escape? What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! Hmm. <sighs> no use. Wow, there really is zero escape. Huh? What the hell is this? A watch? Huh? Doesn't look like one. Five. Well, I guess I'm a uh, person's number five. Five. Yeah, five. That's that's the same as the door. No shit, Sherlock. What? How do I take this off? I'm guessing you don't. Maybe pushing something on this will work. Maybe try slamming against the wall as hard as you can. Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. Good. This stupid thing won't come off. Well, now you gotta throw the whole arm away. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Uh, I don't know. Where am I? I don't know. And why the hell am I here? I don't know, but we're probably gonna figure that out. Why? Stop asking questions. What the hell happened to me? Shut the fuck. <laughs> oh! Ah, ah, my head. Okay, that actually scared me. <laughs> huh. Yellow? This is... This is... Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? Yes. There seems to be a picture of a boat right here. I can't see anything. Wait, is that an adjoining room or is that a mirror? If only it wasn't so dark outside. Oh, that's a window. Huh? Wait, what? Oh. What the... oh. oh, you've got to be kidding me. What? What the hell is going on here? Uh-oh! Oh. What the hell? God damn it! Oh fuck! Hey, come on! If you're there, say something! Oh shit, oh shit, oh no! Oh god, I gotta escape! Stop it. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, I need to find a way out and fast. Alright! Time to escape! Oh my god, wait, what? we're just going straight into this then. Seek a way out. Uh, third class cabin. Check this. What the fuck? How do I... Operations during an escape. During an escape, you are restricted to an area. Your goal, search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Click on a location you find suspicious to search the room. Use Q or E to move around the room. Okay, uh, try this. Uh, picture, a boat. Once you've obtained an item, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Picking an item on the top left will take you to the item screen. Okay, uh, picture frame. Search. An old picture frame. There's a picture of a ship in it. No sh- okay. There's screws keeping the back on. Okay. Investigate with an item. The item visible in the lower left is the item currently in hand. When you close the item screen, the last selected item will be in hand. If you hold an item while investigating the room, you may trigger a reaction. Try switching out items in hand and search different places. Click the item icon or press V to quickly change between items. Okay, what's this? Uh, notice from bulletin board, uh, that, whatever. The notes got these triangles in red and these triangles in blue. Okay, uh, I'm- <laughs> What is going on? I'm gonna drown! Uh, there's a- This is a door to the stove. Well, it opens easily enough. Sure was the door to get out of here was that easy to open. Is that a screwdriver? What's this? It looks red. 
Screwdriver, yes, uh, search. Doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Oh my god, Junpei, you dumbass. Select combine on the item screen to combine two items. If the two items can be combined, you will receive a new item. If they cannot, then nothing will happen. Try out different combinations of the items you find in your search. Okay, uh, uh, wait, no. What's the, okay, item screen, that's it. Uh, uh, action, unscrew. Well, the screwdriver got those screws off easily enough. And here's the picture. A picture of an old cruise liner. Okay. Oh no, what's in the briefcase? It's locked tight. Let's see if there's anything in the keyhole. Oh, you've got to be joking. I'm going to drown! That's a table. Water is pouring onto it. It's like a little waterfall. I don't see anything useful there. Uh, uh, what about over here? What's, what's this? Small key in red. Oh, hey! I feel like that can be considered Probably useful. Hold on to this key. Yeah, no kidding. Huh. Huh. What's up with my face? What do you mean, what's up with your face? I look like a zombie. Ah, so this is my guy. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? Who knows? I work, headed back to my apartment, and... And, and I guess, I'm guessing you got kidnapped and put on a ship for some unknown reason. Oh, okay. Flashback time. I'm back. Don't let anyone know we're spying. Oh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze. Oh, a breeze. Oh no, the window. Huh, that's that's weird. Did I leave that open? Uh, I'm guessing you didn't. Somebody's probably inside your house and they are ready to clap. Hmm, everything looks okay. <laughs> <laughs> I must have forgotten to close it. Okay, Momotaro. Oh shit! What? What the hell is that? Who are... <laughs> Am I getting gassed? I, I... Oh, I, I am getting gassed. Okay, fantastic. Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. Huh? You are going to participate in the game. I'm sorry, I, I know that it says you're going to participate in the game, but it kind of... The voice is so distorted, I thought it said you were going- <laughs> Hold on, uh, I need like a cup or something. I'll just use my fist. You are going to participate in AIM. Like, how am I supposed to understand that? I thought it said you are going to participate in AIM. Well, I don't know what the AIM of this the game is. Game. Oh, the non-binary game. Sweet. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. Uh, I didn't ask for that. That guy with the gas mask. I'm gonna call you Gassy. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. <laughs> okay, they're swearing. <laughs> Can I get my hands on him? I'm gonna rip that gas mask right off his face. <laughs> That'll teach him. Sorry, I keep adjusting the volume because I don't want to peek. Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Uh, well, seeing the track of Danganronpa, it's probably a girl. Just who was that? I don't know, but this is the first episode, and we're going to be asking a lot of questions. They said you have been chosen. By who? Why was I chosen to participate in the non-binary games? What the hell is going on? Why me? You are going to participate in game. In game. The Seriously. Game. Yes, we know the non-binary game. game. Oh my god, we get it! <laughs> nonary game. The huh. non-binary game, yeah. What the hell is a nonary game? Ugh, god damn it! I love how we just took all that time to just kind of hang around. There's nothing left on the mirror. You know, you just took a lot of time to, uh, you know, just enjoy yourself while the room is flooding, bro. Like, get to it! What's this? A bulletin board. There's nothing on it. Sink? Doesn't seem like there's anything hidden on the sink. 
This is the only drain in this room. There's a towel next to the sink. What? Easy. Uh, use the towel and just dry up all the water. Uh, water just keeps pouring through the window. It's like a waterfall. I don't think shoving something in the window is going to stop the water. In other words, if I don't want to die, I need to find a way out of this room. So I gotta figure this out. There's a pair of simple chairs next to the table and the water's already up to the chair. Oh, shit. Okay, um... There's a pipe at the end of the bed. There's nothing up top. I can't keep looking till the cows come home, and all I'm gonna find up here is that pillow. Is there anything else I can use? It's a blue briefcase on the top of the bed. Five. What? What does that mean? Guess that's a lever. The light's still red and the display hasn't changed. Why the hell isn't this thing opening? <coughs> well, it looks like we got a light here. And electricity. Oh, wait. Uh, I should probably try combining items. Uh, items. Go up there. Okay. Oh! 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 Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. So, that would be... I'm guessing that would be... Two, four, one, three? Oh, come on. Okay, so seven, four, six, three. Seven, four, six, three. How do I punch this in? I need to put the, uh, I need to put the key in the thing. Guess that means I need to find a different key at about this size. What? I know. I'll crawl into the pipe. If I <laughs> There's nobody here to make fun of my lame jokes. Man, this sucks. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh! Hey, I found something. Uh, memo from bed. The notes got that in blue and that in red. There's an arrow that goes all the way across the paper. It's red under the red symbols and blue under the red. Uh, combine this with that. Shit. <laughs> okay, well, there's nothing else under the pillow. Well, I found that. I can reach this bill. Bunk. Might as well look through it. Damn, nothing here. Okay, uh... Go Junpei, we need to find something we can use. Holy crap, I'm terrible at this. Try the tea kettle. Hey! Okay, small keyhole blue. Fuck. Uh. Okay, uh, go into here. Uh, I'm gonna need some sort of code for the dial. During an escape, your investigation may trigger one of several mini games. All operations for the mini games are done by clicking the screen. Some mini games will require you to manipulate something, while others will only require you to apply the right object or click the right thing. Operation instructions. Clicking the dial will cause it to move the next number. Enter four numbers this way and then click the key. If the numbers are correct, it will unlock. Okay, uh... Right, I, I think I know what I'm supposed to do. So, that's the blue key, right? So, I need to take this. So, it's a uh, square, hollow, triangle, that... Okay, whatever. Uh, search it. Okay, so, zero... Escape. <laughs> Wait, no. Uh, so, zero, two, <coughs> zero, two, six, sorry. Zero, two, six, three. All right, that's my code. Zero, two, six, three. Got it! Yes, it opened. Looks like there's something in here. What is this? A uh, file? File screen. Finding documents or notes during an escape, the information contained in them will be available on the file screen. Press that button to open the file screen. What? Okay, uh, let's see what's in this file. Hmm. Digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. First, add all the numbers in question to one another. If you end up with something greater than a single digit number, add the digits to one another. 
For instance, if you have a double digit number, add the number in the tens place and the number in the ones place. Keep adding digits in this manner until you have a single digit answer. That final single digit is your digit root. The single root of, or the digit root of 6, 7, 8 would be 6, 7, 8, 21, 2, 1, 3. Therefore, the digital root of 6, 7, 8 is 3. The digital root of 1, 2, 3, 4 would be 1. So I just keep adding numbers until I get a single digit number. Oh, there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, and a calculator. And a stack of key cards. Fantastic! Let's search these. Looks like some key cards. There's a number written on each card. Six, seven, eight. Yup. Math time! Okay, so six plus seven is thirteen. And then plus eight is thirteen plus eight. That would be twenty-one, so that'd be three. New materials and add to the file screen. No shit. Oh my god, I get a calculator? Oh, cool. So I don't have to do all that myself. That's nice. Uh, I think I'm done here. What if I try using this? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. Let's slide these cards and see if they work. And... What the fuck? It's not working. Do I need some other cards to get this to work? I need to find more cards! Okay! Wait, I already looked in here. What am I doing? <laughs> also, what is this? It looks like there's supposed to be something else in the briefcase. It's totally a stove. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm in the third class cabin. Somebody's painting a big red five on the door. I get that. There's clearly somewhere where this red key is supposed to be used. Although I don't know where it is gonna be used. Is it right here? No, wait, this is just the same fucking briefcase! Ugh! Okay, uh... Have I already tried looking at these bunks? I got it! If I pull off these sheets and shove them into the window, maybe that'll stop the water. Alright, window, let's see how you like this. Oh, that's not gonna happen way too much water coming through there. No way these sheets are going to be enough to plug up that window. I guess there's only one way I'm going to live through this. I gotta escape! <laughs> After all, there's not really anything I, it's not really anything else I can do. Well, I won't be draining any water here, I guess. Why don't you just try drinking all of the water? I feel like that's a strategy that could work. Is there a hatch here? No. Where the hell is detective mode? Uh. What? Oh my god, there's a curtain here. I, n I did not see that! Fuck! Okay, uh, item. Let's figure this out. Uh, search that. Uh, seven. Four. Eight. Five, seven, four, eight, five. That's what I'm going for here. Uh, got it. All right, I unlocked it. It's opening. Oh, here we go. Stack of red key cards. Uh. Wow, I wish I saw that earlier. Anyways, uh, let's check out these red key cards, shall we? These look like key cards. There's a number on each one. One, two, and three. Uh, calculator. Digital root is 
Six. Not again. There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one of the hints. Of course, the files. The file says something about a digital root. A digital root, huh? What am I supposed to... There's a five on that door. So do I have to get a digital root of five? Whatever, it's worth a shot. Let's we'll see if this works. I'll just slide the cards that give me the digital root of five through the reader. Click three cards to select them. The digital root of the selected cards will be displayed. Clicking reset will deselect all currently selected cards. After you've selected three cards, click on the device. Oh, the digital... Oh my god, I have to do reverse math? Oh, fuck that. Uh... So, I guess one, two, and three? Or, no. Uh... That'd be... Crap. Uh... It would probably be 14, if anything. So... Because 14, you add them together, or 14 is 1, 4, you add the stuff together, you get that. Okay, so 1, 6, and 7. Yeah! I'm mathing this shit. There we go, that's a new noise. Huh? Did it just unlock? <gasps> I escaped! There really isn't any zero escape, is there? There is hope of an escape. Oh, yeah, time to go. Bye! I escaped! You found it. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! What the hell? Ow! Where am I? Uh, my head! Wait, is it... is it over? Far from it, probably. Ooh. Oh, that was... nice. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. <laughs> well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a, a hallway? Yes, you're in a boat. Oh. Yeah. A door. Another door. Damn this water. God, let me go. Junpei just seems like he's just completely done with this, and I find that hilarious. Oh, yes. It opened. I'm good. Hooray. Let's leave. What? What the hell? What is this? This is the inside of a ship? Pretty nice ship. Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Wait, what the hell? Oh, what the fuck? A wave? Oh, shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here. Sea deck. Sea deck. B deck. B deck? Hurry. Uh, A deck's next. Yeah, get to higher ground. He has a good idea. What? Who are you? Who are all you guys? People. A lot of people. Who are you guys? Um. Hello? Uh. Um. Yeah. So, me plus these three people plus the other four people would equal eight people. So who's the ninth persons? I guess it's another one of us now. Your name is Dancer? I mean, you do look like a dancer. An exotic one at that. Uh, a, a, a dancer? No, I'm not. You better get moving. Okay. Oh, uh, well, okay then. Well, it's animated. That's interesting. S silver hair? Yeah, who are you? Huh? Okay, your name's Silver. <laughs> one of us, huh? We're, what? What do you mean you're one Nothing. of us? Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Your name is Lion? What the fuck are these names? There's two doors, but neither Wait, of them will open. The, the doors won't open? They won't? Come on, aren't you coming? <laughs> <laughs> Pink hair! Let me guess, your name's gonna be like, uh, like soldier or something. No, Prince. Oh, I should have seen that. Nine of us. What do you mean, nine of us? The cards are in hand. What? 
Wait. What do you mean, wait? Okay. What is, what is going on? I don't know. An old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Why in the fuck is my name Junpei, and then this person's name is Pink Hair? Huh? Uh. Oh, we don't know your name. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna call you, uh. Uh, I, you're probably gonna be something like uh, overalls, and you're gonna be like uh, vest. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? What was that all about? Hey, what the hell are you just standing there for? Oh, you're Mountain. You're the guy like Game of Thrones. Didn't you hear him? What do you mean? Uh. The doors on A deck are no good. The doors on C deck are no good either. You gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Whoa. Ow, okay. Hey man, that was dangerous. <laughs> Junpei is so concerned for him. Huh? He's so concerned for safety. What the fuck? Four. And this one says... Five. Five. They're the same. Room I woke up and had a number on the door just like that. What was your Two. number? What was your number? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. So was mine. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspect did the rest of you. Okay. Me too. Same for me. <laughs> Look at his teeth. <laughs> there was a door with a number on it. What was your number? Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? <laughs> <sighs> Open. Damn it. Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Maybe I should try scanning my watch against like this thing right here. Out of my way. You're going to try and break the door down? <laughs> okay. I don't think that worked. Dude. Body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. There must be some other way. Try scanning your shit. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. Oh, is this how this is this how I know that I'm thinking things? So that means this door is probably locked too. But still. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Any other doors? He had scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember where, but he knew. He knew he'd met her before. The girl, too, stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she's seen him before as well. Uh. Are you my sister? Huh? Not saying a word, Junpei walked slowly towards her. And they proceeded to aggressively make out, much to the other people's horror. She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. As Jupe stepped on her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he stepped to, had he set his foot down than the whole ship st uh, shook a second time. Yeah. The quake caught the girl unprepared, and she fell. Watch out! Moving on instinct, Jupe leapt to catch her. Or so he thought. Oh. Uh, hi. Her face was far closer than it should have been. Mere inches from it. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah. Wait, are they actually going to start aggressively making out? I was just kidding about that. She was flat on his back and she had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as, conf as confused as he did and her face suggested that she hadn't fully recovered from seeing him. For a moment that seemed to stretch for a very long time, they stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at the walls and ceiling, but eventually that faded as well. 
The silence was complete, a thick, muffling blanket. At last, the girl opened her mouth. Oh my gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? What? Are you my sister? J Jumpy? Jumpy. Her words echoed through Junpei's head, and suddenly his memory returned. What? Akane? Who? Why hadn't he realized it before? The girl was Akane Kurashiki. She and Junpei had been uh, friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. But what was she doing on the ship? Her soft eyes were only inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he'd all long forgotten began to work their way to the surface. Oh. I can scroll, apparently. <laughs> he could feel his face heating up at that moment. What? Yo, your vessel sucks. Can we get off the next stop? What? Yeah, who's that? What's that voice? Who knows? Ah, zero. Like zero escape. Ah, oh, so you're the person who gassed me in my apartment. You know, it's kind of an aggressive way to invite somebody. Normally, uh, if I wanted to invite somebody, I would send them a card. But, uh, you know, if you really want to take that approach, I feel like chloroform would have been a better method than fucking tear gassing them because chloroform just knocks them out immediately. This is. Or you could have just fucking roofied me. I don't know. That guy in the gas mask. Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. Is your name actually Silver, though? I feel like that's a placeholder. What do you mean to do to us? Okay. What the heck is the nonary game? Oh my god, you've said that seven times now. Just tell us what it is. Nonary game. What the hell's that? That's what I'm saying. Okay, so this game really likes to use the word persons, apparently. What is he talking about? I don't know, titties. What's going on? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. It's the E hand enough. <laughs> hey, I, I got one too. We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the number bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your number bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of the door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one number door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? Oh. On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. Emblazoned? Okay. We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key Four to opening and five. these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Sweet. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. I gotta say, this is the weirdest math class I've ever been in. So this thing on my arm is bracelet yeah it's a five the purpose of the game is simple survive <laughs> leave this ship alive it hmm. is hidden but an exit can be found seek a way out 
Seek a door that carries a nine. What? Oh my god. What? Oh, I see where this is going. Oh! Nine hours! Nine persons! Nine doors! Or rooms. That's the name of the game! I hear a bell. Okay. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. What time is it? Rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? We only have nine hours. I think it's 9 p.m. Okay, so... I think that means we have until like five in the morning. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. What the hell? Hey, you bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Okay. Uh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. Too many questions. Who is Zero? Who? What's the knowingly game? What's it for? What is? Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us, or does he have some other purpose? I don't know. Uh... Why pick me to be part of this insane game? Maybe because you're Junpei. Oh, no. And the <laughs> others. Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? Now why is my childhood friend just randomly picked to be here with me? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? <laughs> why now? Coincidence? No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Oh. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Well, we only have nine hours. Are you planning to open the numbered doors? We have nine hours. That's that's it. Hey, wait. Huh? But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this this zero says. Oh, what are you suggesting? <laughs> no, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. What? After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We what? What? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched a deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? You mean the one that's flooded? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. Well, welcome to sea deck. Whoa! What the hell? It's completely submerged. Yeah. Damn. Shit. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No shit. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See, the water's not flowing. What? That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. Oh, so he's going to let it rip at uh, 6 a.m. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. Hmm. <sighs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. What about B deck? <laughs> Looks that way. Hey, hold on. 
How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Huh, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device either. Nope. It's locked. Yeah. This one, too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey, guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. Oh, thanks, Silver. <sighs> this one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man. Give me a hand. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. All right. <laughs> okay. It won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. Hmm. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Let's try using your brain first. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. Sassy molassy. Huh? What do you mean use your Take brain? A closer look. A keyhole. Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. A key. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? <laughs> no, what is up with this girl? Find a key that easily. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. Does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? What? More oh, doors. what is this? Okay, there's elevators. I think they're elevators. No shit. <laughs> there's an inverted triangle button by them. An inverted triangle? You could just say a, a, an elevator button. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing happens? Nothing. <laughs> Maybe the power isn't on. No, there's power here. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. What? <laughs> it's an astrological symbol. Oh, okay, good. Good that you know that. Then the mark on the other door is... I think that was the sun symbol. That's the sun symbol? That kind of just looks like a place where a doorknob is supposed to be. We saw the same symbols on A deck. Oh, really? We did? <laughs> I don't remember that. A deck, huh? Huh. I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. We may as well check again since we're talking about it. There. The two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. Well, uh, I guess if it helps, there seems to be the sun symbol on this clock over here. She's right. Oh, it, what is that? It looks similar to what we saw downstairs. This is an Earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. Okay, bitch, did you take, like, astrology or something? I see. Like, is that what you're studying in school? Are you training to become an asparagus? Like... Hmm. The ceiling. Oh, my. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Hold on. Two lines. It's the Earth symbol. <laughs> Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows, too. Huh. They're all covered. In other words... Well, we only got one escape. We're trapped. Yep. <laughs> the go nowhere. The only thing we can do is follow his instructions. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. Well, no, no shit. <laughs> you don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. Well, maybe they're supposed to take us out. I mean, I feel like if you jump out the window of a ship, you'll get out of the ship. No, I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? Um... And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. We can open doors four and five. Oh, you mean the number doors. Hey, yeah. wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. Why not? We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. Do we have any other options? May as well give it a shot. 
can't stay here forever. Exactly. Yes. We only have nine hours. I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what'll happen. We should stay here. Why? We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Wait, eight and a half? We, we wasted a half an hour? Oh my. Uh. Hey, shut up. Thank you. Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. All I know is that your name is fucking pink hair. You are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. <laughs> Jumpy. Jumpy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is <laughs> We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. I'm fucking sorry. <laughs> You're probably watching us right now. I'm pretty sure he knows everything about us if we're on this ship. What are you going to do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would. I mean, if he kidnapped us, I think it's fair to assume that he knows everything about us, right? I don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. Can I at least know your fucking name, man? If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Can I know your name? Maybe he'd tell us he had them get us to do stuff you know but we still need to know what our names are yeah, exactly it's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names all right then why don't we have code names what code names yeah we'll each pick something <clears throat> like i'll be seven what seven why are you seven because this bracelet number says seven. Oh. <laughs> oh i get it yeah that's a good idea all right, I'm gonna be Santa. <laughs> Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, oh. Sun means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of an idea. Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's, it's three. Got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. <laughs> Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. So, uh, we'll name you Uno. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. Oh, that's a lot cooler. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight parts. I'll just call you Tits McGee. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Well, eight. eight. How fitting. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. <laughs> Bitch, what? My bracelet number is two. Are you saying that because it looks like a snake? Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. You can't see? Wait! <laughs> I knew it. Me next! I want to be Clover. You know, like a four-leaf clover. Good luck, right? Wait a fucking minute! You're blind? Then how the hell do you know what your bracelet said? If you can't see, then how did you know how to get out of that room? And how did you know what your bracelet said? I'm gonna assume that you didn't tell anybody else what the bracelet said, so how do you know it said two? Did, did, did Zero make a special bracelet for you in Braille? Maybe you are Zero for all I know. That's super right, sus. My number's five. Um, I'm just Junpei because you guys know my name already. So my code name is going to be... Then why have one? It's not like there's any point to it now. Yeah. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Then you should all call me by my name too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. <laughs> You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right, uh, let's call you Devil. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, why don't we call you June? Oh, June. June? I like that. Six months of the year. Yeah, you know, it's the, it's the sixth month of the year. 
So you're June. <laughs> he's so monotone. He's like, so you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> so this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is seven. And eight is Lotus. Wait, who's nine? That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. Who's nine? The only one left is... That glasses guy. Hair like a bird's nest. Oh yeah, who is this bitch? <laughs> you haven't said a thing so far, have you? <sighs> are, are you, like, mute? <laughs> I'm guessing your bracelet number is nine, although I don't see you wearing one, which is a little strange. What number are you? Oh, you're not wearing one either, so it's probably just under your sleeve. Mm. Are you okay? Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? Code name? Just do something based on a nine. What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. Oh, now her name is Clover. Interesting. I don't need one. What? Why not? Because I am not gonna stay here with you. Why? You've got some sort of plan? I do. <laughs> yeah? What's that? You sure you wanna know? Yeah. Yeah, I, we already checked. There's no exits. There's no way you can get out. All right, let me show you. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Stay back. Whoa! If you get any closer, I'll cut her open. Why? What? Uh, yeah, that's right. Clover. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I don't know. I what? told you. This mofo's crazy. This is my plan. What are you going to do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. Well, what are you saying? Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here, verify. Uh. The left. Look on your left. Oh. Do you see the device on the wall? The number. Place your hand on the scanner panel. The round part. Why is this guy being so crazy? Well, don't. Then he's gonna you slit your. Are you an idiot? <laughs> what do you think? It's gonna slit your damn throat. Slit your throat right now. Girl, don't play games with him. He's going crazy. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it. Do it now! Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this? So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then, should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets, and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. What? Door five. That Why must be. Know so much about how this thing works. Yeah, it's that's like a little strange. Exactly what to do. Good, good. You're done. Next, you, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? What? Yes, I am. So? Th then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> what are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. What is wrong with this guy? I'm coming over. Now, verify. Okay, uh, All verify right. it. This is what you wanted, right? One. Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers. Four and one. Four plus one is five. It's the same as the number written on the door. Four plus five. It won't open yet. 
Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. I see. So I think I get how it works. Basically, you gotta like. You basically have to like. So I guess for like door number one, you have to try and get like. You can get like four people to go into a room if your bracelets have a digital root of one. One more person. But who? If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Get back! No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! What is wrong with you? Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Is this guy zero? Added to the ninth man's nine. Four plus one plus nine is fourteen. Oh, never mind. And the digital root of fourteen, one plus four, is five. <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this night. What is wrong with you? Good. I don't need you anymore. Uh, Wait. Here. She's all yours. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye. I feel like we're gonna find him and he's just gonna be dead. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! That bastard! Open, damn it! Shit! It won't budge. Fantastic. Do you hear something? Oh, what is this? Oh, novelty. Like, like, what? Like, some sort of beeping. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? I mean. He, uh, he went into a room by himself, so maybe that's like breaking the rules or something? Why is the stopping? God damn it! Oh shit. You, you lied! What do you mean? You lied? This wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? Open the door, please! I'm begging you, help me, please get me out of here, get me out of here. Ah, uh, god damn it. Why, why won't it work? Oh god, we can't get him out. Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Uh, oh my god, oh my god, there's no time left. What is going on? Listen, I was lied to, he lied to me. He put me in here. It was him. He killed me. It was him. Who was him? <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god. <sighs> a beep? So I'm going to take it we're down a person. Did that thing just make that sound? Vacant. Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number, but Five. it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. What to do? Oh, oh, I have to choose. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Santo and June, Snake and Seven, Ace and Lotus. Hmm. I'm trying to put together who is which. I'll go with Snake and Seven. I feel like they'll be helpful. Snake, Seven. You think you could give me a hand here? Mm hmm? <sighs> yeah, I'll have these guys come on there. 
I kind of want to keep uh, plus two plus seven equals fourteen. I want to keep uh, June and what is it? Uh, June and uh, Santa safe. The digital root of fourteen one plus four equals five. Five. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. Okay, what's in it? Oh my god. Is that blood? Good god. Whoa, that's pretty bad. He blew up. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. June, uh, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? What the fuck? Uh, All right, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. What's going on? How are you feeling? Are you alright? Why? <laughs> Why did this happen? Why didn't the guy just work with Why us? Did what this was do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? No. <laughs> Zero. What's this nonary game? Come on. Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <laughs> one hour has passed. We're down one person. And we're down an hour. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit Zero was going on about is up. Let's get going already! Go! Go! That's what I'm thinking! Let's go! No, I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course, who else? Blood. Ugh. Blood and pieces of flesh. He went in by himself, which means he broke the rules. No way for a person to die. <clears throat> by the way... I think he just screwed up. You're saying he killed me. The guy said he killed me, so... Is it safe to assume that Zero was a guy then? He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. No, I think it's because he went in by himself. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. Oh my god, Santa, please think <laughs> rationally. <laughs> What's good with you? What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. So weird. What the fuck? <laughs> I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least, not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Then? It's because he went in by himself. Broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Yeah, he went in by himself. You still don't... Alright. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said. Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Right? And after that, you've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? Uh, Zero said... That everyone who verified had to go. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. Right? I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. Thank you. <laughs> the ninth man, however, broke that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. Zero's watching us from somewhere, making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. What? I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but that seems increasingly unlikely. 
Do you know something? The f what are you talking about? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Huh? Here. Card? What does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? I see. This is Braille. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. So that's how he was able to see his... Uh, okay, that was fun. Bracelet. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? What does it say? A message? Wha what does it say? Yeah, what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. So yeah, that's how I was able to figure it out. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you and only you with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. The red is the recognition device. What? <laughs> If you verify your number, beside every numbered door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the numbered door, you must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. What? But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you and people whom you are about to meet. Oh shit! You swallowed it while you were unconscious. Oh, so I just have to poop it. Please. I have no doubt. By the time you read this note, the bomb will have passed your stomach and found its way to your small intestine. In other words, you would be unable to regurgitate it. I suggest you do not try. Okay, so we ate bombs. That's nice. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a detonator. Think of it as a remote fuse, or timer, a god in your body. There is only one condition which will cause it to detonate. That condition is that you enter a numbered door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter who you may be. You will have 81 seconds. 81 seconds? If out of that time, the detonator has not been deactivated. It will send a signal to the bomb in your body, instructing it to explode. We have 81 seconds to get through this, th this, this escape room. I did it in like 15 minutes. In order to Wait, what? The detonator, every person who verified their number at their brain must also verify their numbers at the dead. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever at its side. And the countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their number at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number oh. at the dead. That is to say, if you should pass through a number door without first verifying your number at the red in 81 seconds, you why 81? You must also keep in mind that the number of doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. So long as the door is open, the dead will not function. You would do well to remember this. Lastly, we have discussed how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. Oh, I can remove them? One. You escape from this ship. Well, <laughs> two, your heart rate reaches zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the exit of the heart heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way so, to remove your bracelet. To remove your bracelet, you either one, die, or two, escape. Th that's great. Nice. 
Nice. <laughs> this is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. Why didn't you tell that to the if guy earlier? Used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. What? I wish you the best of luck. You probably saw that guy is like a bit of a liability. So saying only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the number doors. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and executioner. Huh. Are you okay? Shit! The fucking bomb! C come out! Come out, damn it! There's a bomb inside me. Yeah? Oh. What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? Who knows? All right. I'm going to ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? I feel like we're wasting way too much time. We should probably Actually, get to the numbered I, I saw it. So. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like surprise or something. I saw that too. Yeah, they all saw him. I did as well. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? Oh, so all of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, so this guy's Seven, okay. Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. Why did he not seem certain when he said so, that? So, I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. So, what's the deal with the two of you, anyway? Oh, yeah. Why did they... Why did they wake we're up together? Siblings. Huh? Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. What? <laughs> That's really so hard to understand. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of exposition, and I feel like this is getting a little boring, but, like, once we get into the actual story, it's going to be super interesting. She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? By the way, we've already wasted an hour. <laughs> like, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Well, now it is eight hours, eight persons, nine doors. Well, yeah, but why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? <laughs> oh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? You went to school together? Yep. Yeah? Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims, and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Mm. Huh, ring a bell. Ring a bell? Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. What? A millionaire? Uh... Son? Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. Yeah. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! <laughs> we literally lost a dude and we're only an hour and a half in. I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's got to be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. 
this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. Bitch! I thought we were finished with that topic. We wasted another half an hour. Then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! Talking won't solve anything! It can't help us find our way out of here! Are you really sure you want to just sit around? That's what I'm thinking. We got seven and a half hours left. Yeah. We wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing you gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Huh. <laughs> says the people who have literally been sitting here and talking for an hour and a half. Thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be alright. What does that mean? But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh. Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have five any more than five four. people in one door. So we should split up into groups of four. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Ah, shit. Wait. I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Oh. <sighs> Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. <sighs> okay, go oh, through door four so then. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Okay, so eight and three are out of this. Oh, Santa, not you too. <laughs> hey, man, I just bought these shoes. <laughs> if you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. What the hell, man? Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So, doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. First of all, we should probably figure out how we can arrange the groups to actually go into doors four and five, right? Fine. I'll go into door five. Okay, okay. Uh, Stephanie, you know, you got some sense. Can't go in there alone, though. Anyone yeah. Anyone else willing to come with me? We gotta have three or four more people. I'll go. Okay, so seven and two, so that'd be nine. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. <laughs> That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. Okay, well, that's three people going into door five. Perfect. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and snake is two. So that's nine. And if you add clover's four and my one, the digital root will be five. Seven okay. plus two plus four plus one is, is 14. 14. The digital root of 14. One plus four is five. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. But what about door four? Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital root going to be? I don't feel like it's going to be four. <laughs> Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Okay, so I'm with June, Santa, Our and Lotus. Numbers are eight, three, six, and five. Eight, three, six, five. What would our digital root be? What? <laughs> Eight, three, six, and five. Here's a root that. Oh, it'd be four. Eight plus three plus six plus five is twenty-two. So the digital root of twenty-two oh, perfect. Two equals four. Okay, so it's four. Yeah, so we can split up into groups of four then. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is four. Then we can go into door four. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. So they, they go, go through, through door, door five. five. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is what remains of the nightmare. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the course even just a little closer. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body and 
there. Huh. I don't want to put her through that. That's okay, so there's a lot of options here. Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? All right then. Oh, anus. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I... Which door? Aw, oh, dicks. Decided that door four would be fine. Decided that it had to be door five. Ah, dicks. Okay, uh... I do want to stay with Santa and June. Because I kind of like them. But... Junpei's right. Examining the corpse would probably be a good idea. Especially if I take the bracelet. Taking the bracelet from the corpse would probably be a good idea. So I'll go through door hey, five. Wait. I want to go through door five too. What? What are you saying, Jumpy? If you're going through that door, then I'm going with you. That's what, yep, you were going to say no, that. No, you can't. I, I can't take you with me. Why? We're, well, you know what's in there. Don't you? Are you sure you want to see that? Well... Please, let me go into door five. But they don't Man. equal... Now we're right back where we started, you know that? Junpei's bracelet is number five, right? If yeah. we are going to add Junpei, then we must subtract five from the rest of us. Ace, please, take good care of Clover. So yeah, uh, Snake and Clover could just leave. Oh, all right. That's, that's fine. Don't go away. Oh yeah, Ace and Clover. You need right. to listen Snake to me, is Clover. two. Go to door four with the others. No. Don't be so selfish. Why? You'll be fine. Just relax. I really hope I didn't make a bad choice. Hmm. What did he tell her? I don't know. Okay. I understand. Understand? Hmm. Okay, let's uh, make sure we've got this straight. Those going to door five are me, seven, me, and snake. Seven and snake. Seven plus two plus five equals fourteen. And the digital root of fourteen, one plus four, is five. Awesome. And those going to door four are Lotus, Santa, June, Ace, and Clover. Eight plus three plus six plus one plus four is twenty-two. And that still adheres to the rules. And the digital root of 22 is 2 plus 2, 4. Which is 4, yeah. You're okay All with right. this. No problems here. All right, so yes. I'm with Let's these two. It. All right, then. The lever's all that's left. Okay. All right, then. Let's go. Okay. Please be careful. You got it. We will. All right, well, into the door we go. It's open. Oh. That's a lot of blood. That's messed up. Yeah. <laughs> that was the ninth man. I'm kind of happy that, uh, you know, we sent Clover and June to the other side, because I don't feel like they would want to see this. Oh. Wait, he's blind! How can you... Well, do you intend to kill me? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Let's go! Uh. Damn it! The countdown started. Oh shit! Shit! The door. There's no turning back now. Oh, gotta go. If we don't manage to find the deactivation device. Hey, where is the dead? How the hell should I know? Stay calm. Look around you. Okay, okay. Uh, I get it. Ah, uh, found it. Right here. Pull. Nice. Uh, Alright, we're good. Uh, <sighs> well, it looks like it stopped. Goddamn thing's gonna give me a heart attack. Jumpy, are you alright? Yeah, we're fine. Are you guys okay? Yeah, we're fine. The detonators have been deactivated. Alright, we're moving on. Be careful, okay? Okay. Sure thing. He's gonna fucking blood soak and hallway. They're gone. Oh now. my god. <laughs> Doesn't look like we can go any further this way. 
Maybe this wall can be moved. No. Or not. <laughs> it's not budging. Hey, there's a door over there. Why don't we inspect the body? A first class cabin, huh? Well, it seems like it. Let's have a look then, shall we? Wait, why don't we expect the body? That's the reason I came here. All right then. Let's go. Are you kidding yeah. me? I came here to look at the body and possibly take I don't that up. Look, but Okay, good. Oh, it's so horrible. I, I can't even tell what's what. He'd been wearing these. Okay, let's take that let's take that that bracelet. That could be useful. The bracelet's off. Oh, it's off. Oh, right. Oh, wait. Zero did say. I should have Okay, yeah, I think I get it. comes off when you're dead. Uh, but what the hell's the point of getting it off when you end up like this? Uh, uh there is no point. Uh, just imagining how it must have happened. This was a human. Oh, <clears throat> oh God. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, I gotta get out of here. All right, it's probably going to be another escape room. Huh. Huh. Wait, where did they... Yo, they guys. Here? Oh, hi. Hmm. Okay, there's a... What's this up? is a big... <laughs> this is a big place. Now check this out. Oh, okay. We found this thing here on the door. The red light's on. Does that mean it's locked? So, I would assume. Is there any other way out? We looked around a little. Other than this door, we didn't find anything. So you're telling me that unless we can open this door? Yes. We won't be going anywhere. This looks like a bedroom. Then the other room is probably a living room. Hmm. Or the closest you can get to one on a ship. All right, let's find a way to open this door. Come on, guys. All right. Are you ready, boys? It is escape time. Wow, this is a big place. <laughs> I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. First things first, let's check that piano. This isn't a score. Is this the map of the ship? There's a map of the ship here. Yeah. And I imagine it will prove very helpful. Best hold on to it. It's now possible to use the map screen. The map screen can only be viewed during story sections. Well, the ship's floor plan will require... Which you will acquire over the course of the story. Clicking the green parts of the floor plan will allow you to see a bird's eye view for that room. Uh, Alright, Nina. Yeah. It's totally a table with a mirror. Ah, yes, you know, that sort of thing is known as a vanity. Were you aware of that, Junpei? Of course, vanity also refers to self-love, conceit, and narcissism. What? As such, you can say that every day, when a woman looks into one of these, she is staring at her own conceit and narcissism. Doesn't that strike you as terribly sad? Safe is locked. It's one of those dial locks. It doesn't have a key, so we just need to get the dials in the right place and it'll open. <laughs> okay, you didn't find anything. How about you, Snake? I also found nothing. Oh, a score plate. Well, this feels like glass. A rectangle of glass. Transparent, I assume. I can feel something printed on the surface. What is it? Shit music with some C notes on it. A leather suitcase. And there's nothing inside. I can tell by the way and it makes no noise when shaken. Okay, uh, I'm going to just turn on my lights real quick. Because... I wanna, you know, I wanna have some lights in here. It's a white desk. Snakes rubbing it. This is a high quality desk. Uh, teak or perhaps mahogany. How can you tell? Oh, I have my ways. Holy shit. It's a fucking bathroom. The bathtub is full of water. Is there ash or something in this water? Kind of gray. Let's just pull the plug. Now hold on. Maybe we can, I don't know, use it for something?
Bathtub's full of cloudy water. Sink's clean. And nothing's coming out of the water. Or the faucet. And there we are in the mirror. What a pair. A college kid and a terrifying giant of a man in a bean. <laughs> Stuck in a cramped bathroom. With this beast of a man. What would my parents say? Something wrong, Junpei? You look real sad all of a sudden. Oh, no, nothing. A heavy piece of paper folded in half. It has the letters S, C, O, R, and E in front of it. Score, okay. That must mean musical score. If that's true, then the score we just found was probably in here. At least, at some point. Maybe I do this. I guess you put sheet music into it. So put it in there. Put it in there. Holy shit. Um. Some kind of transparent glass plate. It's got a C note on the staff here uh, a couple of times. Can you read music? Huh, didn't call that one. What, you think I'm some kind of idiot? Yeah, I know how to read music. Oh, you do? Oh, wow, okay. Well, there's an iron gate in front of the fireplace. There's something behind it. Well, it's a musical score, but it seems to be on fire. It says score on this paper. I guess you put sheep to get to it. It's a chair. <laughs> it's some sort of antique desk. Makes sense, though, I guess. The whole room's full of antiques. You could get a nice handful of cash for all the stuff in here. Someone spent, a lot of, someone spent a lot of time carving the legs of this chair. It'll snap like a twig if seven sits on it, though. Mind your own business! Where are you going? Didn't we come out of that door? No point going back there. All that's out there are lock number door and a dead body. Or what's left of it. Hmm. This couch looks just big enough for three people. It's perfect for me. <laughs> Perfect for an elegant gentleman like myself. This couch looks a lot more... Or the couch looks a lot more elegant. Hey, there's someone you aren't safe. <laughs> Never mind. This looks like some kind of hatch. Oh, there's a couple of lights up on the wall. Uh, map? Seems to be two rooms here, so... Ah, so I guess let's figure that out first. It's a toilet. Doesn't seem to be anything in the toilet or in the tank. There's some toilet paper on the wall there. Nothing that looks suspicious. Use the music on the toilet paper. Or, no, okay. Uh, okay, that's this room. What the heck am I trying to do? Oh, okay, sweet. Oh, more sheet music. Score plate G. Maybe I put these together. Crap. Oh, shoot. Looks like there's nothing in it. Nothing in there. There's a vase. I get it. You're gonna use this vase, right? Pretty clever, Junpei. Oh! Oh! Right, that acts as a, a bucket. So I think I'm able to go into here, fill this up. No. Shouldn't be too hard to fill this phase up. Now I got a base filled with water. I think I should be able to. Nope, okay, wrong room. this okay uh i should be able to go into the main room now and i'll use that i can't just throw it at the grate though i gotta pour the water right onto the fire itself oh my god really oh, fine okay it 
Isn't there something down there? Oh, that's just the bathroom. Uh, what haven't I investigated yet? Fireplace. There might be something, um, there. Right here. Oh, that's just the death. Okay, um. It says score on the paper. Yeah, I know. Hmm. This is definitely gonna take me more than nine hours, just saying. A window. There's an iron plate nailed to it. Hmm. Okay, so if I'm correct. Okay, no. Oh, those are just windows. Okay. I thought that was like a hatch or something. Uh, a small round chair. Looks like it probably goes to the vanity. Oh, wow, this fabric feels great. I bet that chair is really comfortable. Let's try the bed. Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just see your message now. Sure, you don't see many these days. I can't see the details, obviously, but I imagine it's one of those princess beds Clover is so fond of. Clover wants one of these? Yes. She wants a princess bed. Didn't I say that? You think it doesn't suit her? Uh, yeah, I, I guess you could say that. Ah, oh, Junpei. Judge her by appearances. Wait, a bitch, you can't see! You literally cannot see! <laughs> I feel like I have a bit of a right to judge people by appearances. And well, you should not. I mean, actually... I, like, he literally cannot judge people by appearances, which I guess makes sense. Oh, what? What's wrong? You got weird all of a sudden. I heard something... strange. Heard? Something strange. Ah, oh, well. Never mind. It doesn't seem to be anything suspicious. Did you hear anything that sounded like a, <laughs> an explosion from the other room? I don't wish to toot my own horn, but my auditory senses are considerably more advanced than those of most humans. It's because you can't see. Okay, uh... I notice even the slightest of noises. Right. Are you going to tell me you can hear a needle drop from a mile away? Probably. <laughs> no. Such a thing would be impossible. Is it actually possible to kill people in this game? Like, to make bad decisions and get people killed? I'm just curious. However, by listening to the sound of footsteps and breathing, as well as sound echoing off the environment, I can locate most objects. Bitch, you use echolocation? Oh yeah, that's right. When Clover fell on the big staircase a little while ago, you were at her side immediately. So that was... Hmm. You're a bad... Yes, I could hear it happening. I'm gonna call you Batman. In fact, I can run quite fast. Certainly as fast as you. Sucks that you don't know where you're running. And should someone attempt to start a fight with me, I am quite confident that I could defeat them. Hey, shit, you really are Batman! What? Oh, really? You don't believe me, do you? Care to give it a try? <laughs> no, no, I don't want to fight sworn. Batman. What the You'll hell? No doubt regret it. Uh... Junpei, do not try to fight Batman. Well, I suppose that's enough playing around. Let's resume our search, shall we? An upright piano. From the feel of the wood, it must be quite old. Might as well put the glass plate on it. Something wrong? It's kind of hard to see the notes. Maybe if I put something under them. A background for the notes. Why don't I use that vase from earlier? Just flip it around. Okay, well, what do I have for items? Just these score plates. Well, oh, wait, you can see those clearly! Well, whatever. Game wants me to do things, so I guess I'll have to do things. What is this? This is the locking thing. It's flashing red. That's usually not a good sign. Is that a microphone? Looks like a satellite dish. Let me see. Well, judging by the feel of it, I would guess that we are meant to produce some sort of sound. This device will sense it and unlock. Oh, we probably have to play the, the correct song on the piano. No, that's that's that. Uh, it's a light switch. Nothing happens when I press it. The lights, huh? Nope, doesn't look like there's anything hidden there. 
Testing, testing. Hey, it's great to see you all here. I just flew in from New York, and boy, are my arms tired. Yes, thank you. I'll be here all week. Try the veal. That's not a mic, that one. It's a... Uh, that, that, that's a shower head. <laughs> Is he? Okay, so he's the big idiot character. I see. I'm clicking my way through this puzzle. I need to find something to, I guess. There was once a vase on this table. <laughs> so I need to find something to put like, or not to put, but to get like, get rid of this grate. I think there's something in the back of the fireplace behind the fire. Right on buddy, do it. Do what? Come on, it's not that hard to figure out. You seriously? Throw that shit on there. Okay, I'll take this out now. I tried to throw that shit on there. Just throwing the water at the grate isn't going to help. We gotta put. I have to click on the fire itself. Fuck you. About time, buddy. Let's do it. Here we go. Ha, ah, good job. Another success. That fire didn't stand a chance. All right, I'll just pull this out now. Don't want to get burned, so let's pull down this leaf. Ah, I see. Hey, Seven. What the? What the hell was that? Are you all right? What the? Are you good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. I just felt a little dizzy. That's all. Are we all poisoned or something? What the hell is wrong with me? This memory loss, and I'm getting dizzy for no reason. Hmm. Memory loss? Oh, yeah. I guess I didn't tell you, huh? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I told the rest of them before we ran into you on the stairs. I told them I couldn't remember a damn thing from before I woke up. Didn't realize I hadn't told you. Whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. You're talking about amnesia, right? Yeah, I guess so. Do you not remember who you are? Well, why are you an amnesiac? What happened to you? If I knew that, I wouldn't really be one, would I? Good point. Oh, uh... Yeah, uh, I guess that's true. Are you telling the truth? Huh? Well, you look pretty calm for somebody who doesn't remember anything. If you really got amnesia, shouldn't you be, like, upset or confused or something? Well, sure. I mean, I was pretty confused when I woke up down on D-Day. But that was a while ago. I've had some time to get used to it. After a while, I figured it wasn't worth the trouble of worrying about it. Hmm. After all, why worry about something I can't change? Oh, this guy's an optimist. I like him. Well, people usually don't stay amnesiacs forever. That's true. I figure it'll work itself out eventually. Hey, that's... that's it? <laughs> that's it. Uh, uh, Alright, that's enough talking for now. Let's get back to work. How are you fine with something like that? I don't know. It says score on the paper. In case you put sheet music in it. Oh, um, okay, so I gotta go to items then. What? What? Okay. So what am I doing? Toilet. <laughs> I'm gonna pull off some of the toilet paper. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah, Junpei, I don't really think you need that much. Well, let's just wipe that slate clean then, shall we? So, uh, did I get the toilet paper? I feel like I can use the toilet paper to, um, make a background that's right Junpei look there's a hand coming out of the toilet what just a joke there kid not funny man I'm too old for this shit incontinence is a problem many older men struggle with what does help flush I feel like there's something important
So... I need a backdrop. Check Discord? What do you mean? Or did, or did you just like upload a straight up walkthrough? Discord's here. Oh, hi, Mikey. I didn't realize you were a semi decent gamer first. Um, you could just you could just use the uh, you could just use the live chat. Yeah, that's a window. Use the paper on the piano. I tried that. Oh wait, what's wrong? Well, I put them all on top of each other, but they look odd. It doesn't really look like a song. In all likelihood, we haven't found them all. We need to find. There's more glass plates. Where? Okay, so yeah, you were correct with using the the paper on the piano, but like. The safe? Yeah, I know there's a safe, but like... Oh, the knocked man's body is on the other side of the door. Oh, yeah, that opened. Oh. Uh, okay. You turn around. Save for the dialogue, and we won't be able to open it until we know the right numbers. Uh... And I'm not good at escape rooms. <laughs> Maybe there's something in here that I just haven't found yet. I mean, there's this folder that just says score. And right now I have C, G, and A. There's some, there must be some kind of indicator around here that uh, actually says, oh my God, I don't want to see the dead body. toilet I feel like I'm supposed to do something with this uh this bathroom because I don't know why it's here I've already opened up a lot of things and there was one of the vase on that table uh map so where haven't I investigated yet we got the table, we got all this stuff. Uh, I'm definitely gonna use up the nine hours that I have. <laughs> oh my God, I keep pressing the wrong door. There's a cover for music sitting on the table. Use the score plate on the table. No, oh, okay. There's another plate that I haven't found yet. Uh, two f Check the fireplace again. Uh, sure. Looks like burnt coat. Well, burned. Past tense. It's out. <laughs> there was a fire here a bit ago, but it's out now. There's an iron gate, or an iron grate in front of the fireplace. Dang, Santa's not going to be able to get through that grate. You mean that guy with the silver hair? No, wrong Santa. <laughs> That's a window. Score plate A, G, and C, and then there's just a score plate. 
that sometimes keys are hidden. Uh, I don't think it's about finding a key. I think more so it's about trying to find a letter code or a number code. It says score on the, the file. No. Is there a button that I can ask my, my friends for help? There's nothing in the drawer. It's totally empty. Um, piano keyboard. What's Snake doing? He can't play, can he? Piano. There's something I missed with the keys. I mean, it's out of tune or something? No, not that. It's probably tuned, just... The sounds are clearly purposefully different. The C key doesn't yield a C, but rather a different note entirely. Same goes for the D keys. They play some other notes. Why do you think it's like that? Is it painfully obvious? Zero modified it in some way. This piano you see is part of one of the puzzles Zero has set for us. Perhaps if we play the keys in the correct order, something will happen. So in other words, we need to play a song. If we put all the glass planes we've got together, it's pretty clear that this isn't a song. There must be more of them hidden somewhere. It's a save for the dialogue, and we won't be able to open it until we know the right numbers. Okay, uh, maybe we'll try the frickin', uh, let's see, I'm five, uh, then I'm with seven and two. Digital root would be five, okay. <laughs> well, at least we've got light. What? What the hell, man? It's just the light. Oh, oh, of course. Um, I am a little lost. The lights are lit. No shit, Junpei. You plug on the end of the chain. Alright, well, why don't we just drain this water? Oh, right, because I already used that water. Alright, well, where's that thing? A good tug ought to be able to get it out, huh? Oh, there's a glass plate. That's where it is. Oh my god. Stupid fucking bathroom. Seems as good of a place as I need to put the music to come. Just gotta put the ceramic plate on the bottom. And then stack the glass plates on top of it. Sweet. Now I can play the music. Junpei, would you be so kind to ask to play the piano? I am unable to, see? <laughs> I'm sure I needn't tell you, but the keys on this piano are not what you might expect them to be. C won't be C, D won't be D, and so forth. You must listen carefully to determine which keys to strike. Do you understand? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the first one again. Uh, it's gonna be the third one again. Second one again. That. Now I gotta figure out what this is. Fuck! <laughs> So that'll be the second one. And then the first one again. And then I press this. It's fucking. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, no. 
First, second, third, fourth, then first. No. That would be the second one, right? No, it would be the, yeah, it would be second one. And then it would be this one again. Then it'd be this third one. Then it would be the fourth one. Uh, then it would be the third one. Second one. Yes! And we're done. Music is not my fault. Oh, wait, what was that noise? Junpei, we did it! Looks like it worked. I heard something unlock over by the exit. Stand, bow, be seated. Well, I guess he hasn't forgotten that. At least Snake thinks it's funny. Yes, I suppose that was the classic bell, wasn't it? I don't imagine that's what Zero was thinking of, however. No, no, Zero almost certainly meant to suggest Westminster, not middle school. What? Westminster? The palace in London that plays host these days to the Houses of Parliament. You've heard of Big Ben, the famous clock tower, yes? Big Ben plays that very collection of notes on the hour. Capital of England, huh? At any rate, the door is now unlocked. Let's leave this place immediately. Awesome sauce. I'd imagine that means it's now unlocked. So let's get out of here. I don't know what that safe was for. Well, I found it. Another hallway? All right. Uh, so that's where I'm going to end it. Because I've been playing for a while. I'm in the hallway? Oh no, I'm in the B-deck hallway. <laughs> Probably secrets. Yeah, maybe. So, uh, yeah, that's where I'm just gonna end it, because I have been playing this for, like, two hours. Um... Yeah, I'll probably get a better idea of, like, what the stopping points are, as in, like, you know, stopping, like, right before I go into a room, or, like, you know, right after we get to, after, like, after, out of a room, like, I don't know, I, I don't know this series, like, it's all new to me. These, uh, I know that these freaking uh, escape rooms, though, they're kind of busting my butt, because they're a little difficult to figure out, but... <laughs> But anyways, yeah, I'm going to start, uh, I'm, I'm going to be doing this more, and I'm going to be trying to understand what this is. So, uh, until next time, that's going to be it for Zero Escape. Later.